In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your IP address for free. And I'm not talking about spoofing your IP. We're going to change your real IP address, meaning the one that your internet service provider has issued to you. The technique that I'm going to show you is free, but it comes with one warning. And that is that while it's probably reasonable to change your IP address occasionally, there's a good chance that it's against your ISP's terms of use. So don't do this too often. I used to change my IP like this daily, and it wasn't long before my ISP sent me a letter telling me that I'd either have to pay more or have my service terminated. So consider this a one-time or occasional thing. If you'd like to change your IP address more often, you may be better off using a paid service. Uh, one example is iPrivacyTools.com. That's a software that puts a drop-down list of IP locations on your browser, which allows you to change your IP anytime you want, as well as change the location of your IP. This would be good for travelers that, say, want to change their IP address to their home country while they're overseas. That's iPrivacyTools.com. Okay, but back to how to change your home's IP address for free. My instructions are for both DSL or cable internet connections. If you're on dial-up, all you have to do to get a new IP on dial-up is dial up through a different access number. That's super easy. But assuming that you're on cable or DSL, the main thing to understand in this process is that when your ISP issues your IP address, that IP address is tied to the device that's connected to your modem, which is probably either your computer or a router. And that device, the router or computer, is identified by what's called a MAC address or machine address. So in practice, the way to get a new IP address for yourself is to change the MAC address of the device that's connected to your modem. And there are four ways to do this, and really only four ways. So here they are. First, if you have a router connected to your modem, remove the router, plug in your computer directly to the modem, restart both the computer and modem, and you'll have a new IP address. Pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, then you don't have a, a wireless router. Now, the second way, if your computer is connected directly to your modem, disconnect the computer and simply add a router. Once you power on and restart the modem, you'll have a new IP address. Technically, this isn't free if you don't already have a router or a spare router, but you can get a pretty good one for about $20 on Amazon. Definitely worth it, not just for the new IP address, but also for all the other functionality that a router provides. Okay, let's move on. Again, remember that the way to get a new IP address issued from your ISP is to change the physical device or the MAC address of the device that's connected to your modem. In these first two approaches, we've simply changed the actual physical device. But let's talk about how to spoof the MAC address in order to get a new IP. This would basically fool your modem into thinking that you've changed the device, when in fact all you've done is changed its identifying MAC address. So first, if you have a router, log into your router's control panel and search around for something called MAC cloning, or router MAC address. I have a DDWRT router, and it's under Setup MAC Address Clone. On Netgear, it's under Basic Settings Router MAC Address. And for Linksys, it's called MAC Address Clone. Not all routers have this feature, but most do. So if you have something other than DDWRT, Linksys, or Netgear, look around the router control panel or check your router's documentation. My router was only $20 and it has this feature. On mine, I log into the router's control panel by going to 192.168.1.1. I then click on Setup and MAC Address Clone. And all I have to do to get a new IP address is change this by one number at the end, then Save and Apply Settings. I'll then restart my modem, router, and computer. And when I get restarted, I'll have a new IP address from my ISP. Let's go to findmyipaddress.com, click refresh, and yep, I have a new IP. Okay, let's move on. Fourth scenario is that you have your computer connected directly to your modem, and you don't want to get a new router. In this case, you'll change your IP address simply by changing the MAC address of your computer, or of your computer's network interface card. Let me show you how to do that. It will seem a bit tedious the first time, but it's quite easy after you've done it once. First, go to your computer's start menu, 
type cmd in the search box and you'll get the DOS command prompt. Now type ipconfig space slash all and hit return. Scroll around and find the entry that says Ethernet adapter or local area connection. Now make a note of the name of the description which will be a company name and the physical address. In my case it's Marvell and I'll write down the current MAC address. Now with that info written down go back to the start menu type regedit as one word and that will lead to your computer's registry editor. Go to hkey underscore local machine then system then current control set then control class then click on the entry that begins with 4D 36E972. Again, that's 4D36E972. Yeah, I said this would be tedious the first time. Okay, now click on each of the sub entries until you find one that shows a provider name matching your Ethernet adapter. Again, mine was Marvell. So, number one, provider name is Microsoft. No. Number two, Microsoft. No. Number three, number four. No, nope, I'll keep going. Number seven, provider name Marvell. There it is. Okay, in this list, see if you find an entry called network address. If you do, you can double click on it, but most likely you won't. So over in the white area of your screen, use your mouse to do a right click, then go to new, select string value, then make an entry for network address with no space and a capital N and A. Then double click on that entry and enter 12 digits, 12 numbers. For this example, let's type 12345678912. And if you ever want to undo this, just follow the same instructions to get back to this place and delete that entry. Okay, so now close out all of this, close everything, turn off or unplug your modem, then restart your computer and your modem. Restart both. When you're up and running again, you will have a new IP address. I just restarted my computer. I'll go to findmyipaddress.com, and yep, I have a new IP address to surf with. I know this is a bit tedious, but the only way to change your real IP address for free is to use one of these methods to either swap the device that's connected to your modem or change the MAC address of the device that's connected to your modem, which basically fools your modem into thinking it's a different device. And again, don't do this too often. Your ISP probably won't like it if you do. If you need to change your IP address frequently, or if you'd like to change your IP address to a different country, you can instead spoof your IP address by using a relay service such as iPrivacyTools.com. That puts a drop down list of countries on your browser that you can choose from anytime. Thanks for watching and good luck.